Hey, what's up, guys? This is Kazoo here, and welcome to episode 26 of Skin Into Glory. And uh, we're gonna start today's episode off by moving on to the store because uh, we're gonna claim our three packs that we did get as our reward in the previous episode. Because uh, once again, we have completed all the challenges, which means we do get the three packs and a new five star skiller. And as you probably saw, our best player in the first pack was David De Gea, so not really the best. Uh, moving on to our second pack, and uh, we do get this uh, Japanese guy, not really sure how to pronounce his name, but um, yeah, the, the other players aren't really going for much either so we quick sold him and then once again we store the other items in our club so we move on to the final pack the third pack and we do get Jose Enrique from Liverpool the left back as you can see and we also got this guy uh, Aogo he has some uh, decent stats for a non-rare and non-rare card so we list them up as well and also Jose Enrique and we quick sold the remaining players so we move on to the skillers up because we also uh, also got a new five star skiller as you can see and this time we're gonna play with Corona the Mexican five star skiller from the Eredivisie and the challenges that we do have to complete this time are score five goals with Corona, score a hat trick with Corona, score five skill goals, score a volley from any distance, and score a scissor kick or a bicycle kick. So uh, those are pretty much the challenges that we do have to complete this time. Uh, once we completed them, we move on to jobs, and as you can see, he does play in the Saudi league, I do believe. And um, yeah, really looking forward to play with him once again because he is uh, probably one of my favorite silver players, especially five star skillers this year on Ultimate Team. But uh, anyway, we're gonna play with Corona, and uh, he's a five star skiller that I actually haven't used on ultimate team yet so so I'm really looking forward to see what he will be like um, so yeah the team that we're going to build is in the 4-3-3 false 9 formation definitely one of my favorite formations this year in ultimate team as well but um, yeah the players that we're going to use are obviously from the Eredivisie because that is the league that the Corona plays in and uh, since the Eredivisie doesn't really have that many good players especially uh, skill players there are a few but when it comes to like strikers and stuff there are only like a couple I think Piazon is the only decent center attack he made that is a silver one and then you have Duarte and yeah that is pretty much it so um, I decided to go with a teammate of Corona and that is Inform Tadic that you will see in a moment there you go we're gonna play him as a center forward and he does have some really really nice stats um, unfortunately he's not the fastest but he does a four star skill moves great shooting great passing as well which you need actually for a center forward and uh, yeah right wing we also go with another inform that is Tosic from the, uh, from the Russian league I do believe and he also links up with another inform that is Mario Fernandez. But uh, anyway, this is pretty much a team. On goal, we do have the overpowered Petacek. Really, really wanted to try him out on Ultimate Team. I uh, tried him out a couple times before. He wasn't really the best for me. But then again, when I played against him, he was insanely good. So um, yeah, I just wanted to try him out again. Um, center backs, we do have Rekik from PSV and David Luiz. Uh, right back, we do have Mario Fernandez, the right back, the inform version. I've used him before and uh, he was pretty decent. I do believe I picked him up for 22k. Uh, left back, we do have Yates villains with the four star skill moves I do believe I already used him in a squad uh, sentiment we do have uh, Jorginho and Aldum also I used him before I think uh, in uh, season one of skill into glory with the four star skill moves as well uh, center defensive mate we have the transferred version of Nemanja Matic used to play for Benfica uh, then the other sentiment is Oscar and uh, I decided to go with his normal version not his upgraded version because I used his upgraded version like a couple episodes ago and he was very very bad for me so I figured I would go with his regular card instead and see what he will be like but uh, anyway right wing we do have Tosic with the 88 pace 80 shooting for a right wing is very good as well 87 dribbling and 4 star skill moves on him as well and uh, he's also left footed so that means we can cut inside with him from the right and score some goals uh, then center forward we already spoke about this guy Dusan Tadic from uh, FC 20 he also does have the four star skill moves and is also left footed and I picked him up for only 11k which is pretty cheap and then the left wing we do have the main man himself Corona with the five star skill moves with an 80 pace which is pretty decent 78 dribbling is also pretty decent 63 shooting and a 65 passing so uh, that is pretty much a team Hopefully we can uh, we can score some cool goals with this team. But uh, before we do go into our first game, we apply a couple chemistry styles there to Corona and also to Matic. And uh, after that, we picked up two new kits. As you can see, the home kit is going to be the away kit from Portlaid Timbers, the uh, red and white one. And the away kit is going to be the away kit from Chivas. So uh, those are pretty much the kits that we're going to use this time. We apply a fitness card there quickly to Mario Fernandez. And now uh, we go into our first game. And I actually thought we would come up against a Brazilian team. Uh, but uh, that was not the case, as you can see. We come up against a bit of a sweaty uh, Bundesliga team. But we start off here with Tosic. We go with a rainbow flick. We get a header in with our right back Mario Fernandez. But an easy save there from his goalkeeper. Then the 11th minute he breaks through with Obama Young And he puts it in. Which uh, wasn't really a surprise. Because all he did was through balls as you can see here with his goalkeeper. Pass it off to Obama Young. Pass it off to Lewandowski. He goes through and he makes it 2-0 within 20 minutes. And yeah we didn't really create that many chances during this game. We had a few. Um, I thought we could score a goal here with, uh, with Corona. But for 
some reason he did that weird jump that you probably saw. Nonetheless, though, uh, we do get the goal there with Tadic to get us a goal back and make it uh, make it 2-1. In the second half, we get another shot and with Tadic, unfortunately, it was with his weak foot, which isn't really the strongest. And then it's my opponent here on the ball with Lewandowski. He puts it in a lovely goal, actually, with the outside of his foot to make it uh, to make it 3-1. Then in the 84th minute, it's him with Sam on the ball, cross it to Lewandowski. He goes with the bicycle kick and uh, he puts it into the far corner. Once again, a very good goal there by my opponent, and he picks up a hat trick as well. And um, yeah, this game he was pretty much dominating, as you can see as well. He had most of the shots, and it was more than deserved that he picked to win. So I can't really say anything about it apart from that we played absolutely terrible. So uh, all we can do is move on, I guess. So uh, we go into another game and uh, we come up against this team, a full goal team with 82 uh, 82 chemistry as you can see. But uh, we started very in the 7th minute with Corona on the ball with a few skill moves trying to beat his defense. Uh, we tried to cut inside here with a few steppers with a cheeky Ronaldo chop, uh, one of those animations that look pretty cool. We get a shot in but it just goes over the over the bar. Then in the ninth minute once again Corona on the ball, we, uh, we kind of lose the ball there but we pick it up. We go with the McGeady spin where we beat one player, we go through, we go with the Elastico to a scoop turn and we put it into the far corner to get our first goal with Corona and also get our first skill goal then in the 26 minute he messes up with a free kick we pick it up with Corona we go with a ball to get past him and we put it into the far corner a bit of an easy goal but nonetheless we get our second goal there with Corona to make it 2-0 then in the 39th minute once again here Corona on the ball with the step overs we cut inside with a ball we try another ball we get a shot in with his weak foot and a look at this some really uh, weird stuff going on but in the end he managed to, uh, to clear it away then the 45th minute is my opponent getting a goal as well with Andre as you can see at the back post where he does make it 2-1 uh, but then in the second half we, uh, we have the ball with Corona but once again that stupid jump I just don't understand why it's in FIFA but uh, anyway we pick it up here with Tadic the game was a little bit laggy but we pass it off to Corona and he puts it into the top right hand corner to complete his hat trick a lovely goal by Corona to make it 3-1 and uh, yeah that is pretty much how the game went we managed to win the game with 3-1 three goals by Corona which means we uh, we managed to complete a challenge so uh, yeah that's pretty much it we move on to the skillers up and as you can see we have only completed one challenge so far so uh, hopefully we can uh, we can complete the remaining ones soon but um yeah guys that is pretty much it Hope Hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like would be very much appreciated and uh, if we can hit a thousand likes that would be absolutely awesome so uh, i'd like to thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye bye